everyone, it's your girl Designer Soapbox and I am back with another video. So in today's video, I have the inside scoop for you guys. And we're going to talk about Navy Federal and Equifax and what they're doing and what's their new update. So Equifax and Navy Federal. So Equifax is currently stopping partnerships with a lot of third-party credit reporting companies, if you guys haven't heard. They even are going to stop reporting to Credit Karma. So there's a lot of things in the works right now. Equifax has stopped reporting to a lot of credit reporting companies. However, this has there's still some ongoing and they will stop doing this sooner than later. It's not going to stop reporting, but Navy Federal will no longer be using Equifax for lending decisions as of October 1st. Okay, if you guys don't know, you know, my opinion, Equifax is sometimes slow in reporting depending on, you know, who you are, but, you know, Equifax is just really just not so good at a lot of things. <laughs> but they are going to stop doing lending decisions as of October 1st. Some of you may ask, well, how do you know this? How do you know this? So I'm a part of a group that talks a lot about credit and we have inside scoop about Navy Federal. I also have a person that found me on YouTube is working for Navy Federal and I confirm with them. So, you know, I would have not confirmed with them first without bringing this to your attention. And it is true that they're going to stop hard pulls October 1st. Okay. So what does that mean? They will be using TransUnion for any lending decisions, okay? Such as mortgages, auto loans, credit limit increases, pandemic loans, and then, and so forth, okay? So some may have already applied for like the mortgages, the auto loans, and the pandemic loans, and they pulled from your TransUnion based on their location. So they so basically this doesn't really concern you, but just just keep in mind that October 1st, it will be all TransUnion only. So if you have got pulled from Equifax and you're playing and you're planning to do it again, it's not going to be Equifax. It's going to be TransUnion. So what to do before, in, or after October 1st, 2020. If you're looking to apply for any auto mortgage lines of credit or any other loans and your Equifax score is higher are better than TransUnion, you may want to apply before October 1st for better chances of approvals, okay? If you're looking to apply for any auto mortgage lines of credit or any other loans and your TransUnion score is higher than your Equifax score, you may want to apply after October 1st for better transfer approval, okay? So this is something to think about for both. So you know, it may be beneficial for you to apply before October 1st, or it may be beneficial for you to apply after October 1st. It all depends on your Equifax profile and your TransUnion profile. But remember, it's not all about the score. It's about the profile in itself, okay? So just look at your Equifax and look at your TransUnion profile and see which one is stronger than the other, okay? And then you may want to make the decision when to apply uh, for any, you know, lending lending um, products that they Navy Federal may have. So helpful tips and resources. Just want to give you guys an update that it does not mean Navy Federal will stop reporting to Equifax. So if you do apply for any new credit or any new credit products that Navy Federal is offering, it will still report their account to Equifax. This just means that they're going to do no more hard pulls from Equifax for any lending decisions, okay? So, hi everyone, this is Anna Soapbox. I just wanted to make this video to guys let you know that I am having a 50% off sale for 72 hours. Yes, a 50% off sale on the 24 hour express ink removal guide and also the late payment removal guide. So, just head down to the description or to the pinned comments and click the link and get your 50% off. Remember, this anchor removal will help you remove hard inquiries from your credit report within 24 hours. And then the late payment guide will um, help you remove your late payments uh, very fast, super fast actually. Um, if you're tired of disputing your late payments waiting 30 to 45 days, this is a quicker method of getting these late payments removed. So, if you guys enjoyed a lot of my content, I talk about this in my videos. However, I have this in an ebook. I'm doing 50% off for you guys. If you missed a 60% off sale, I'm doing one for 50% off. 
So I'll see you guys in the next video. And thanks for supporting. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Bye. I hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And make sure you grab those ebooks on designersoapbox.com. And make sure you follow me, guys, because I'm going to have a lot of discount codes in September and this month on my community tab. Okay? So look out for those. Make sure you subscribe so you can see those discounts. Okay? Make sure you subscribe so you can see those gems that I'm putting on a community tab. And I'm also working on a membership for you guys so that I can give you guys inside scoop like this all the time. So make sure you subscribe so you can know when it's time to apply for the membership. Okay? So make sure you guys do that. I love you all and good luck in your credit journey. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.